We're going to be sh exploring a oldie but a goodie, a really good blitz here out of Nickel 3-3, something I think is kind of fun uh, to explore from time to time. We're going to be taking a look at this little blitz setup. This is kind of building a blitz from scratch, right? How do you build a good blitz from scratch? We're going to be kind of exploring that in this. So what we're going to be doing here is we are just going to be using, it, it really doesn't have to be this Nickel Blitz Zero, okay? It can pretty much be any play, I'm pretty sure, for what we're going to be doing here. So we're just going to choose LB Blitz Zero because I like it, uh, the way it's laid out for this Blitz. Also, we're going to have Auto Flip on and Auto Alignment on Man. If you wanted to, you could turn Auto Flip off, and then you could flip the play and run it just like this. That's also something you can do, but I don't think you need to. So... What we're going to do as far as a setup goes for this blitz is we are going to shift our defensive line basically away from the tight end. So in this in this example, we're going to shift him to the left. We're going to shift our linebackers to the left. And then, as you can see, these are kind of the blitz angles that you're left with. Now, what you can do to fix these blitz angles is you can crash your defensive line to the right. And you're going to see that it's going to sharpen all of the blitz angles on the screen. And then instead of using this linebacker, which would probably make the most sense, what we're going to do is we're going to slide him over the center like so, and then we're going to stand about right here with our user. Now, you see from a coverage perspective, we're in a pretty decent little coverage look. And what you're going to see here is we should be able to get – this is going to kind of almost be similar to the 3 through 5 odd crossfire blitz. As you see, we get this crossfire pressure, and this cross crossfire pressure is going to be really good – for attacking kind of your standard way that people like to play defense. So you see here, and again, the biggest thing with this is going to be you're going to have to move this guy. But the cool part is you can literally move him. Like, you can be very generous with where you move him, and this is still going to work. If you want to contain, go for it. You don't, have to, you don't have to not contain here. You see you get this super fast. You're either going to get this super fast edge rush or you're going to get this A-gap blitz. Now, you can also create this from other plays. So for example here, we're gonna do the same thing, except we're just gonna go from cover two. Now notice when you do this, the the the, uh, the looping gap is gonna be a little bit more of a, of a challenge. So you're gonna need to be a little bit more like thoughtful about this, but something like that placement right there is perfectly fine. And you see you're gonna get this B gap and you're gonna get this, this A gap pressure. So this is just utilizing a crossfire blitzing concept. Now you can also do this if you wanted to, you could do this like this. Um, basically, just spread your line, crash them to the right, slide this guy out. I'd probably QB contain because you can fix that angle on that right side. And then you create the blitz like this. And you see now you're getting this is almost exactly what 3 3 5 odd, 2 4 5 odd is in this game. So the cool part about running it from nickel 3 3 is you can cross man these linebackers on anyone on the field. Um, this is one of the many reasons why. I still think three three uh, nickel three three is one of the most underrated defenses in the game because you can set this up pretty quickly, and even something as simple as like you can shift that linebacker to the right side as you see right here. Now he's got a super long cross blitz angle. As you can see, it's really good. So even just something as simple as that. Now if we kind of take this and we're going to Maddenize it a little bit more and talk about how to build around this little blitz concept we just created. Now we're going to turn auto flip off. We know man coverage is really good if we want to run this defense on a man alignment, and then we can kind of turn, uh, we can kind of adjust from there. So all we need to do now is we're going to call a play that has that linebacker blitzing in the A gap. Now I don't like nickel blitz zero because it, it basically locks that nickel corner into a position. So what I would rather do is do everything from LB blitz zero, and we're just going to flip this play. So now it's completely locked. So like if they're flipped in their bunch. This is fine. So how would we set this up if we were playing a flip bunch? Well, all we would need to do here, if we wanted to do this on the right side, we certainly could. But I think something as simple as shifting to the right here, spreading your line, and then we're going to stunt the line. So we're going to crash them to the right, and we're going to keep it contained. Now what we're able to do is we can now f uh, take this. Whoops. I don't know if I did this right. Maybe I didn't. Do something like this. And now you're going to use her over here. But this creates that crossfire type of concept. Not as good to that side. I think we might need to flip it just because it's going to, it's going to uh, flip the, the blitz angle of the linebacker. So if they flip, you flip. Let's take a look at that. Oh, you see here. Now we crash right. And now you have a better blitz angle here for this defender. 
and then we would want to actually crash. Let's crash this way. There you go. There. So something like this, you're kind of building around that crossfire. So here you get the crossfire that way, and you see it's not as good, but in, in general, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, okay, so now let's say, okay, we didn't like that, how that looks, so we're going to actually just send it off the left side every single time. So the way you would do this is you would spread your line, you would crash them right, you would shift your linebackers to the right, and then you would con contain. And then all you would need to do is just drag this guy essentially wherever you want him to come from. I would probably advise coming like, you know, basically from that position about right there. And then from there, you basically just set up your defense, right? So you can just sit here like this and you see you're going to have, I mean, that's a screamer. That's a really good blitz. So now if you think about it, how are they going to block this blitz? Well, let's just try a block running back and kind of see how that would look. So again, this is just a simple shift of the linebackers and you're just dragging this guy here uh, and clicking off. So you're kind of dragging him here, clicking off, and then getting here, basically. So, and I'll show you something else you can do that's going to make this setup super fast in just a second. But you see here, a blocked running back's not going to block it. So the way that you can make this setup faster is you can just touch this guy, like kind of move him into position, spread line, crash right, shift linebackers, and then you see how it's going to put you on your user. So now that that now we just made the blitz setup super quick. And then we can drop guys, like we can drop this defensive end into coverage if we want to, and you're going to see that this thing absolutely screams still. So this is a fun little defense. I think this is a really good blitz. Again, the setup press, just move this guy just to, I mean, you can move him basically down into the right, click onto this guy, spread your line, crash uh, right, shift linebackers left, and then you're set up like this. I think this blitz might be better than the 3 3 5 odd blitz because it's a more of a crossfire angle and you can exaggerate this crossfire angle. So when I say exaggerate the crossfire angle, what you can do here is you could bring him, you know, all the way over here, uh, for example, and he's still going to blitz into that spot. You know, and if you wanted to, you could just basically do this right here and not contain. If you don't contain, this uh, blitz angle is actually going to be pretty interesting. You'll see he'll get a, a loop type thing. But the thing about the contain that I like, the reason I like the contain over over not containing here, is I just find that it's going to do a better job. Um, it's going to do a better job against. Uh, well, actually, one thing I did want to talk about. So if they flip, you do get to keep that contain, which is nice. So let's say they flip and they have this over here and they try to block with their tight end, you should get a gap pressure. Actually, no, I picked it up pretty decently. So. Anyways, this is the little 335 normal. Uh, now, one other thing I did want to mention. Let's say they do that. So let's say they do that right there where they, they you know, let's say there's, there's, there's other ways to skin the cat. So you could, you could do it like this. And then let's say we, we crash out instead of crashing to the right. So we crash out instead of crashing to the right. And we don't contain here. And then we just take this linebacker and we, go, we send a four man basically. Uh, the cool part about this is, again, you, the cross manning capabilities from 3-3 Cub is really what I wanted to highlight here. Like You can cross man all kinds of different players, but this four man is very similar to Nickel 3-3 Cub's four man, and you see how it can actually come in. So there's a lot of different ways that this blitz can be advantageous to you to try out and kind of experiment with. Again, if you move this guy just a little bit, He'll put, he'll, it'll put him in a really good position. If you were to leave this like this, and then you just move this guy down on the edge, this is basically 3-3-5. Three, three, I, I would probably spread and then crash, right? But if you, if you did this, this is also going to kind of essentially create the same result. So a couple different ways in which you could set this up. I think this defense is a lot of fun to run. I really would prefer to be able to shift them to a side and the reason why I prefer to shift them to a side is because it's going to make this uh, it's going to make this blitz absolutely scream off that left side, you know. So you're still getting that a gap concept, and then you're also getting an edge rush that's really good as well. You can leave them spread if you wanted to do that. I think that this would be um, a little easier to run on, and we're always going to be sending it off this right side anyway. So just doing something as simple as this right here this is going to scream. You know, you're going to get this nice crossfire blitz angle. I forgot to crash, which is why it didn't scream. But you're going to get that nice crossfire blitz angle. And then you're also going to have the potential for, um, you're going to have the potential for this linebacker on the left. So you see here, kind of take the center that way with you. That time we got to disengage a gap. So pretty nice little pressure. 
I think there's a lot you can build around. But it's just a new way to run the same stuff, right? It's a new way to run 3-3 Cub or 3-3, I'm sorry. And if you want to run it like it's 3-3 Cub, then just crash out. And then if you did that, if you crash out, you still have this A-gap Blitzer. So you can leave him like this. Or if you want to cross man him, you can. So let me show you why this is really good. So let's say, you know, you're running it like this. You're going to get that. You're going to get that a gap and you're going to get that edge pressure. So that's another reason why I think this is really effective. Let me show one more time what I'm talking about. So if I was to shift right the line and shift the linebackers left or shift left, shift the line left, shift the linebackers left and then crash out. What this creates is it creates a, a blitz that's very similar to the 3-3 Cub. This is a five-man blitz. But now you have this A-gap blitzer. So the cool part about the A-gap blitzer is he'll take the running back, as you see, and then that blitz will still screen. So, you know, now they're in a position where this blitz is really going to give them problems. And then there's all kinds of things that we can do from a coverage perspective as well. You know, But as you see there, that was a blocked tight end. Blocked running back doesn't pick it up. And then if we wanted to put a coverage behind this blitz, you know, we could do something like, you know, something simple like this. And then we have cross band capabilities of all these linebackers on the field. So I could take this linebacker on the left and I can man him up on anybody on the field. That's what 3-3 is so good about. So if you can find a way to blitz from this, it's going to make it good. 3-3 is the formation that is most equipped to handle the majority of the meta formations that you're going to face. So I think nickel three, three is a hundred percent back with this blitz right here. And the cool part about this blitz is it allows you to do it from LB blitz, which allows you to have really good alignment from a man coverage pos position. If you want to do this from zone, um, let me, I did want to highlight that real quick. So let's say you're watching this video and you're like, okay, that's cool. But I want to do this from a zone base. So if you want to do this from a zone base, you just need to find a, um, you just need, you just need to honest. You could probably honestly do it from anything, but really we're looking for a specific type of blitz angle. So I'm trying to think if we could do this. You might just need to create it honestly, because we we we're gonna go with a let's go with like a base alignment. Now, typically when you run this defense, you'd probably want your if you're running this on on a zone, you probably want your nickel corner to flip. Right when you if you were running this, so I would say in general it's going to be a little tricky because you you can't fix a blitz angle, but let's just do it from cover four or cover two for that matter. So if we did this from cover two, take a look at what the blitz angles are going to do. See how this see how this guy on the left is kind of shooting into the gap. You want him to shoot in the in the a gap. So all you got to do is just move him in a step, and now you see. He shoots into the A-gap perfectly, and we have the same basic thing. That's going to scream. So, And the cool part is this version of the defense is flippable. So, like, if they flip, let's say they flip, you flip. Now you're going to shift everybody to the other, other way, and essentially you're just going to kind of pop this guy into the A-gap, and then your user in here, right? So now your nickel corner is always in coverage, and then you can kind of craft your defenses like this, and we have a really good little blitz here. So... Nickel 3-3, I think, is 100% back. I think there's a lot of ways to run it. You know, if you don't, if you, the cool part about this, too, is you could just send four. You don't have to send five uh, if you want to send four. This gives you capabilities to send five. Uh, but if you want to send four over there on that, on that right side, take a look at how this is going to work. A lot of times this is going to come in. A lot of times it's going to come in completely clean. So little mini, little mini scheme here, little mini blitz guide. Kind of this is what I go through when I lab blitzes. Thought it'd be fun here to just give you something to kind of tinker around with, but I think nickel 3-3 is, is an underrated defense, and you probably should check it out.